Hey guys, welcome back to Salem Cellar. So I recently watched the sci-fi adventure drama film, The Creator. Now it's currently streaming on Hulu. I didn't get to see it in theaters, but I want to talk to you guys about it and let you know if it's worth the watch. I'll be right back. So I remember doing the trailer reaction for this movie. It looked ridiculous. It had like a sci-fi futuristic feel, but I've been tricked by movies before. I didn't get to go to the theater to see it. I don't know why I just couldn't go, um, but I was happy enough to watch it this past weekend. I found it was streaming on Hulu, yay. So I watched it. Um, so a little bit about this film, what it's about is Against the backdrop of a war between humans and robots with AI, a former soldier finds the secret weapon, a robot in the form of a young child. It was directed and written by Gareth Edwards, starring and it's starring John David Washington as Joshua and Madeline Yuna Voiles as Alfie. So this film is an adventure sci-fi drama. It felt really <laughs> most like an adventure sci-fi to me. Um, but it had that like total recall, iRobots type of feel like that. I don't want to call it, like a rusty feel, but it just, it, it was just visually beautiful. Like it reminded me when I watched Total Recall for the first time, like that feeling. Um, it is nonstop action from start to finish. This movie is two minutes, and, two minutes, yeah, it's two minutes, two hours and 13 minutes. So it's not that long. It's just kind of there. Some parts to me felt like a little long, like I could have done without, but overall it's a good, you know, good speed throughout. It's just like you, you're constantly going and you're, there's character development. You're finding out about each different individual in this movie so you are invested so by the end of this film i was completely invested it was just beautiful though a lot of it reminded me of irobots with these robots that we have and we're relying on completely to do everything for for us and as soon as these robots or you know this a these these ais don't do what we want or go against us. It's like, okay, they're the enemy. Um, so that just kind of like the just right away, like we have them do everything. Like they we or we're they're controlling our house, they're they're protecting us, like they're the police, they're every, doctors, they're just everything in society. And then bam, something wrong happens and it's like death to AI. Like we don't want it. Like we created this monster and we want to get rid of it. So that's like the gist in the beginning and you're kind of, you kind of, there's like a little twist towards the end. You find out who the real enemy is, but I'm telling you throughout this entire movie, I was rooting for the AI. I wasn't rooting for like the nasty, mean human beings. Like it was just, it was a lot. I just did. It was frustrating at times too, because I just hated the humans so much and the, the, the robots, the AI just want to, the simulants just wanted to live. They just wanted to live at peace. They didn't want to fight. They didn't want war. The very end, I cried like a little baby. I legit like bawled. Like I, I guess I was more invested than I thought I was, but like probably 15 minutes after this movie, I was crying. And the character Alfie, who's a little girl, she's absolutely adorable. I loved her in this movie. She was, on top of being like extremely cute, she was funny and I loved the character. I loved the chemistry between the two main characters and their bond that they grew you know it first started that he did not like ai that he was against them that they were just like you know they're not they're nothing they're machines and then he grew to love them and to love a machine it was nice it was a nice story had a really nice ending uh, i don't want to give too much away if you haven't seen the film but i a thousand percent recommend this film out of a 10, I would give it an eight and a half and I would definitely see it again. I hope there's more movies. They ended it in a way where they could do like a time jump and 
you know, go back into this story. There is this big ship. I guess you want to call it a ship. It's like this war machine ship, Star Wars looking thing. I don't know. It took them 10 years to build. Um, so I'm thinking maybe like a 10 year time jump at the end would be like, you know, for the not at the end for the next movie would be cool. Um, it was just a really great film. I was really happy I watched it. I would have loved to see it in the movie theaters. It was just visually, it was just beautiful. It was the story was beautiful. The characters were beautiful. The actors were beautiful. It was just beautiful. I really, I, I really enjoy this movie. Um, I actually just recorded like some of my favorite movies from 2023 and I didn't put that in the list but it is was definitely one of like top 10 my favorite movies from this year. So if you haven't seen The Creator I know a lot of people are asking me what I thought about it if you know it's worth the watch if it's worth the rental like if you don't have Hulu I definitely think it's worth the rental. If you, it didn't really feel like Star Wars. I think it's from like one of the creators from Star Wars. I don't know. I'm not a Star Wars girl. Sorry. Um, but if you are into Star Wars, if you are into anything sci-fi, AI, iRobots, I, I say iRobots because there's a scene at the very end of iRobots with Sonny when he's kind of standing on, I guess, the hill over the other robots. It's supposed to signify like hope and um like the future like he kind of like saved them that's what a part of the ending kind of of this film reminded me of i got a total sunny standing on the top of the, the hill over all the ais um the robots i had that feel at the end and it, it made me really emotional i don't know why but it reminded me in like that kind of way i robots and total recall like t the entire time watching it i don't know why i got completely like it wasn't just me did you guys watch this and feel total recall like of course it's not arnold's going into like different like planets or going you know to the moon or out in space and like weird shit happening like it's not like that but it had that like rusty feel like that beautiful rusty sci-fi feel to it i don't know maybe I'm not making sense but that's how I feel about it um comment down below if you have seen this movie what you thought of it um thank you guys so much for watching I hope you do watch this movie it is worth the rental it is worth the watch and I hope you do enjoy it thank you I hope you're having a great day I will be right back